In these problems, we're being asked to rationalize the denominator of a fraction where the denominator is a little more complex. It's, it's in this binomial form where it's got some number plus some radical expression. And we're going to use something called uh, a conjugate. Conjugates are these binomial terms that are just sort of, um, well, they're not exactly opposites each, of each other. They're conjugates of each other. If uh, one is a plus b, then the other is a minus b. And if one is a minus b, the other would be a plus b. So the conjugate of a plus b is a minus b, and vice versa. What we do to rationalize the denominator is we multiply by the conjugate over the conjugate. What that means is we're multiplying this fraction just by a form of the number 1, because anything over itself is 1. And that's good, because we're not really changing the value of the fraction. And we're also relying on the wonderful property of the difference of squares. Remember, the difference of squares says that a squared minus b squared equals a minus b times a plus b. When you multiply something by its conjugate, you're really doing this. So you know you're going to get this. And if you keep this in mind, it's going to make these problems quite easy. Let me show you how uh, this first one works. We'll do all the steps on the first one, and then uh, we'll do the second one using this uh, difference of squares shortcut. On the bottom of this fraction, we have 7 plus 2 times the square root of 5. So the conjugate of that is 7 minus 2 times the square root of 5. That's our conjugate. We're going to multiply this whole fraction by the conjugate over the conjugate. That means we're multiplying it by 1, which is great. So let's go ahead and take the top. We're going to have to multiply 3 negative 3 times 7, and negative 3 times uh, negative 2 times the square root of 5. Well, negative 3 times 7 is negative 21. Negative 3 times negative 2 is a positive 6 times the square root of 5. OK, so that's the top. Let's take a look at the bottom now. We're going to have to foil this. Our first terms are 7s. So 7 times 7 is 49. Our outside terms are 7 and negative 2 times the square root of 5. So that's negative 14 times the square root of 5. Our inside terms is a 2 times the square root of 5 times 7. So that's a positive 14 times the square root of 5. And you can see what's happening here already. This and this add up to 0. Negative 14 times the square root of 5 plus 14 times the square root of 5 is 0. So that just goes away. Finally, we've got our last terms. 2 times the square root of 5 minus 2 times the square root of 5. That's going to be minus 4 times 5, right? Because 2 times 2 is 4, and the square root of 5 times the square root of 5 is 5. So we get, on the bottom, we get 49 minus 4 times 5, or 49 minus 20. So on the bottom here, we've got 29. On the top, we've got negative 21 plus 6 times the square root of 5. And we have rationalized the denominator. I multiplied um, all of this out, but those middle terms cancel every time that you multiply by conjugates. So I could have just used this shortcut where I knew that a minus b times a plus b is going to be a squared minus b squared, in this case, 49 minus 20. Let's try that method with this next one. So on the bottom of this fraction, we've got 7 minus 3 times the square root of 2. So let's multiply by the conjugate over the conjugate. That's going to be 7 plus 3 times the square root of 2. Okay. Now let's go ahead and multiply through on top. I've got negative 4 times 7. That's a negative 28. And I've got negative 4 times 3 times the square root of 2. That's going to be a negative 12 times the square root of 2. So that's the top of our fraction. The bottom, I'm multiplying conjugates here. So if I call 7a, that's a, and I call 3 times the square root of 2b, well, a squared is 49. And 3 times the square root of 2 squared, well, 3 squared is 9, 
the square root of two squared is two. So it's three, sorry, that's nine times two. So that's 18. And I have to put it in this a squared minus b squared form. So 49 minus 18. So this is just going to be negative 28 minus 12 times the square root of 2 all over 49 minus 18, which is 31. So that is how to rationalize a denominator um, using conjugates.